Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. This is Beauty in All Places, where we try to find beauty in every aspect of our lives. Now today, as you see from the title, we're going to be talking about finding your personal style and owning in on that personal style, okay? Style is very unique to every individual and every individual should have his or own personal style because style is a manner of doing things, a very distinct way and appearance style is the way you carry your body style is the way you just flex style is style is everything okay especially in this world where every individual every person needs to be their personal brand in order to be very distinctive and to stick out from the crowd each man each individual each personal brand needs to have its own personal style that is style in terms of clothing the way you dress the way that you design your apartment just the way that you write the way that you talk it's an all encompassing thing and I don't want you guys to think that style is only just clothes even though we're going to be talking mostly about fashion in this video I want you guys to know that style is a very encompassing like genre of things okay the importance of having a style is to build your personal brand style is also to reflect what one stands for style can be used to stand out and to be noticed and can be used to reinforce the character one is playing in this life you know what I mean wink, wink. style can also give an idea of who you are as a person and style can boost your confidence if we value our own unique style and if we feel good about what we wear in this video I'm going to help you guys really own in on your personal style we're going to have an activity I'm gonna show you guys how I use Pinterest to curate and to build and create my own personal style and I'm also going to get into different aspects of style and how you can find inspiration how you can build your personal style and we're gonna do a fun activity to help you start the roots of building yourself if you have not like found your own distinctive style already so first things first I want to get into my personal style and how my personal style got developed and like the first idea or inkling that I got of style and what are the elements of my style, the people that inspire me, the places, the things. My first memory of like style or where my first idea of style or my personal style came in. Okay, let me start with saying my style has heavily been influenced by my family members. I grew up with a very much so fashionista aunt. Her name was Kelly. She wore the most outrageous, the the most sexy, the most sensual, the most sophisticated kind of clothing. She was even crowned like a dancehall queen of the Asylum nightclub in Kingston, Jamaica. That's how much of a social light she was. My aunt was definitely a social light, like a party gal. She was always out on the town. She was a late night babe, okay? And always looking hot, always wearing the latest fashion. Like Jamaica is very big on like fashion and we have a very distinctive style in the dancehall culture it's very audacious it's very provocative it's very it's very out there but she managed to have found the middle ground between being extremely sexy but still classy but still feminine and girly and a bit sophisticated so my style was heavily influenced by my aunt because she was always out on the town when she was getting ready in the nighttime I would be there with her like she would ask me to like go get the baby powder because back in those days my aunt used to use baby powder to like set her makeup and I would be helping her find her little makeup bits in the night when everybody was sleeping and I was like very attentive watching everything that she did watching how she did her makeup and she wore minimal makeup in those days women used to line their lips very dark with like black or dark brown eyeliner she would wear a lip gloss mattifying the face was a big thing back in those days I mean, my aunt was just, my auntie Kelly, she was the, and, and let me tell you, my aunt, she had, I, I come from a family, I come from a big batty family. If you don't know what I mean, the rumps, the behinds are really, really huge. They're big, they're audacious, they're very full. And my aunt had a very slender waistline, big bum, very small boobs. I, I thought, she, I think she was just the mo one of the most beautiful creatures on this planet. And right next to her, 
her, my aunt Nicole had a very distinctive style as well. Her style was more preppy because she played sports. She was on the Jamaica Hockey Federation. She played netball. She was a more sophisticated woman because she was like college educated. She had her own company. So I pulled from her style as well, which was more preppy, more sporty, very distinctive, somewhat corporate in a sense because she was in the corporate industry because she's she's like an accountant her style is also very sensual you know very sensual very feminine she wore minimal makeup as well and the, the lining of the lips and the mattifying of the face because Jamaica is a tropical country so you definitely don't want to look too oily in that kind of climate and to be honest I also pulled my style my first style memories also come from my mom I remember this is a funny story my mother she wore the most outrageous outfits when I was a child I was so embarrassed by my mom I mean I know every child says that but I was literally so embarrassed super embarrassed by my mom my mother would wear these outfits as if she was going to freaking space it would be these leather outfits I mean like holographic like pattern leather out I don't know if you've ever seen xenon girl from the 21st century that's the kind of outfits that my mom used to wear and she would have these outfits tailor-made and she would have the boots to match I remember she had like a burgundy one with the burgundy like knee-high boots she had a holographic one she had a white one she had a black one like I remember one Christmas we went out to KFC and she was wearing one of those outfits Fits and I I just I just wanted to be with my aunt at that time because I was just like why does she have to wear this outfit it's so much but it's funny because I found myself in my adult years like pulling inspiration from my mom without even realizing it because my mom was more avant-garde in her fashion and I I actually like a little bit of avant-garde in my fashion as well now my personal like first style look it was also very much like I had some help from my aunt my aunt Kelly we put together an outfit for me to wear to like one of those like high school like end of term end of year like dance parties that we have I don't know what you guys call them here but I think we just call them a fit or I don't remember what we call them if I remember I'll put it right here but um I remember we put together this outfit at that time crop tops were in and it was I think I was probably in the ninth grade or something and we put together like it was was a Bratz doll inspired look and I didn't even know it was a Bratz doll inspired look until like now that I'm looking back at it I can say it's a Bratz doll inspired look my hair was afro I had lip gloss all over my lips they did a little bit of makeup on me I was wearing this this crop top with like blue some kind of blue graphic on it but the graphic was plastic um it like it was like patent leather and I think some parts of it could move as if it was I don't know what you call that but um it was some blue and white and pink graphic on the cotton crop top and then I wore like a high-waisted bell bottoms with like blue and white shoes. it was a look it was a vibe it represented me at where I was in my style journey at the moment and it really brought into perspective that everybody should have their own unique styles because at that time when I went to the Fed a lot of the girls were wearing the same kind of outfits like the same kind of thing and I actually felt very much like myself and I actually felt extremely distinctive from everyone so you could definitely pull me out of a crowd to say oh that is Saudia so style and fashion has always been very important to me I've always been around very beautiful women in my family that really own in on their own style and their own unique style and I was very much so influenced by them now growing up and to being an adult and even a young teenager like in my late teenage years I remember Rihanna being being a huge like fashion style icon I remember her breakout days on like the album R and how I like those clean cut lines that she used to portray and she always did her nails in different colors and her hairstyle was very rough cut and it was like very feminine very masculine and very like boyish but very sensual at the same time with these clean cut lines her clothes was always structured and it was an attitude and a vibe that 
that Rihanna brought to the whole music and entertainment scene and industry and I was really inspired by her and I really loved the way that she carried herself in that manner. It was very inspirational to see a Caribbean girl like myself just out here like murdering the fashion game. It was a sight to see and a sight to behold and I remember being on RihannaDaily.com like almost every day like trying to see what is she wearing now, what is she wearing now, what is she wearing now. <laughs> now her style is a little bit like I was saying my style is also inspired and influenced by music philosophy people places it could be a photo it could be a piece of art it could be an item that I see on Etsy and that inspired or incited something in me it all depends it could be a feather it could be an animal like I've really been into animal I've always been into animal print but I've recently been into like cow print and Dalmatian bring them that black and white. I love black and white together. So my style is very eclectic. It's very ethereal. It's very like structured. I'm very much inspired by the 50s, that pinup girl, Marilyn Monroe type of style. I'm really into that as well. And I bring those elements into my style. I'm very much so influenced by my lifestyle as well. Like this outfit is very much, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit in a moment. This is basically, this is like a riding inspired outfit and I do ride a little I want to get back into riding this year style is also about lifestyle you know what I mean like if you live in like a hot place you can't really expect to want to bring every winter coats into your style I mean you can if you want to but in the daytime you're gonna be like super hot if you live in like a tropical country you know I'm just trying to make a point that style is also about lifestyle my style is also inspired heavily by nature I love nature I love the forest, I love leaves, I love the trees. I love to add feminine structure, a little avant-garde, a little funky, a little eclectic, a little surrealist. I like a lot of stuff and I'm gonna show you how you can build your style around liking different stuff because listen, this is the thing. Each moment is going to call for something different from you to pull from. Each event is going to call for something different for you to pull from. So you don't have have to be stuck in a specific style you know what I mean you can pull from different elements but make it yours so we're definitely going to be using Pinterest as a way to curate and to build and to own in on our style and to get style inspiration as well so let's move on to the other part of this video okay guys so this is the outfit I don't know if you guys are getting the full effect Fact. You guys know I like a white button down. This one is kind of cinched. It cinches in at the side here. I wanted to open it because I was planning on wearing some kind of harness, but I couldn't find one in store. So I just added this belt. It's like a velvet black belt. And then I added this like blazer over it and these knee high boots with socks and tons of earrings. Flipped my hair up, wearing a little snake ring and my pearl Hailey Bieber inspired nails. I got a little bit of cuff and I have a turtleneck under here. And it's a cute, it's a cute look with some biker shorts. Just a little vibe, you know? A little vibe. Essentially, I wanted this to be a little bit cinched, you know? I think cinched it would be giving more of the vibe, but it's okay, it's okay. I like it. I just wanted to show you guys a little, a little bit of what I'm wearing currently. First style tip that I have for you is you should get some kind of wrap or a section in your closet or something so that you can display items that inspire you, that represent your style, outfits that you're putting together, just so that you kind of stay inspired by what you really like and you're always seeing that so you know what you like and you know when you go to the store what you want to buy. The first style exercise that I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go into your closet and choose 10 to 15 piece clothing items that represent you that you absolutely positively love. You're going to pause the video and then you're going to come back and unpause the video and then we're going to review your items and you're going to decide why you like these items, what about the items, why did you buy them, like we're going to review the items so that you can fine tune 
tune your style and be more definitive and distinctive with the things that you're buying, the fits that you like, the colors that complement your complexion and your skin tone, and essentially what you particular like and what fits your body and your body type and what really excites you about the things that you have in your closet. And you're going to choose at least five shoes as well. If you feel like you don't have anything in your closet at the moment or you, you don't feel inspired by anything, it's okay. We're going to use Pinterest as the next exercise in this video to help you define your personal style, okay? Okay guys, so I have a few items here on my rack. I'm going to go through them and I want you to go through your items the same way to decide what about these items that you love so much. I have about 10 items on this rack. I'm going to review the items. I'm going to describe what each item reflects, how it makes me feel, what I like about it. Putting words and feelings to items is a powerful tool in defining and owning in on your style. Because if you really don't like that piece, you should probably sell it or give it away or donate it or get rid of it. So we're just going to head into these items on this rack and I want you guys to do the same thing. This is your homework. I'm going to tell you guys what I like about these pieces and how it makes me feel. So we're gonna start with this one. You guys know this has been in my closet for at least three or four years. I love this piece. It makes me feel powerful. It cinches in my waist. It makes me feel very strong, a strong woman. It makes me feel like a warrior, but a sexy warrior. It makes me feel very queen-like. Actually, I feel like I should put it on right now because why am I wearing this? I should be wearing this like bodice. It easily goes on and off. It's Velcro. I just love it so very much. I think if I should wear anything for the rest of my life, it would be this piece. It even goes with my outfit today. See? It just makes me feel very powerful. It makes me feel strong. It makes me feel like a queen. It makes me feel like I'm in charge of things. I'm in charge of life. Yes. It gives me that mother vibe, that, that divine feminine, that dark feminine as well. It just makes me feel powerful. And I just love how it cinches in the waist. Ugh, it's everything to me. And that's why I will continue to keep this in my closet and I'll continue to wear it as many times as I can. Like, I just love this outfit. I'm actually gonna keep it on for the rest of this video, probably. Now let's move on to the next item that I chose. I chose this bodysuit because first of all I love the texture of it even though it's a little bit sheer it does not show my lady bits it's sexy it's like it has these panels to like kind of hold me in it's also like a homage to the wildlife I think this is a jaguar print so it's like a homage to the animal kingdom this also makes me feel very powerful when I'm in it I feel very sexy and very sensual this is why I chose and these are like dark tones that kind of like match is up with my skin tone so I love this piece and this can be worn with pants with a skirt oh I, I love this piece and next piece I wear this piece often as well this is a we all can see it's like a patent leather pant this also gives me a vibe of strength a vibe of like something that is durable even though it's not real leather <laughs> it makes me feel sexy it also gives me like that Aaliyah vibe because when I bought these pants I was actually trying to put together that look that Aaliyah did in one of her music videos I don't remember which one it was but it gave me that vibe and when I put it on it also like gives me that Sasha Fierce vibe when I'm wearing this Okay, I see that strength is coming out a lot in this video. All I have to say is the opposite of strong is weak. And I know a lot of women these days, especially the black American community, they're oftentimes saying, oh, I don't wanna be a strong woman. I don't wanna be a strong black woman. First of all, you're, you're just a woman. And to be strong doesn't mean that you have to be strong for the wrong people, you know? Be strong because the opposite of strong is weak. You just don't have to be strong for the wrong people. And I love being strong and I love my fashion to represent and reflect that. It makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel 
mm, like I have vitality and I can get my life done, you know, I can get things done and be on top of my life and I love to represent that strength in my style and in my fashion. I, I see myself as a warrior princess, so that comes out in my style a lot, but there are different elements to my style and though it started off very strong, there's different elements that I like to add to my style as well to reflect different sides and parts of me. So yeah. Now I brought up this shirt. You guys know the shirt. I've worn it a million times. I have several guys. Like I have a whole collection of white button downs. I can bring out a few other ones for you. I just grabbed like three more. It's just what I do. I just like a white button down. This one is just a basic one from Old Navy. Um, I also have this one that kind of has a little bit of tie detail. It's a little cropped. I also have this one which has a little bit more detail in it. It has like a little wrap around with a little tie, side tie situation and the sleeves are kind of like a balloon sleeve. So I love a white button down because it's so, it's such a classic look and you can wear a white button down with so much different things. You can wear it with like a very strong like denim jeans. You can wear it with dark jeans. You can wear it with lighter jeans. You can wear it with skirt like a white button down is such a versatile item and it's like one of my closet staples and I just love that clean like Parisian look you know the white button down and maybe like a scarf tied around the neck and like light wash denim and maybe some slip-ons you know with a little tie back or some oxfords or maybe a little kitten heel or maybe a little kitten sandals I just like simple looks that can be worn day and night and having a staple look in your closet that you can always go to and it's very versatile is a very important part of your style because remember style also has to be practical so my practical but also like dressy style is a white button down with like anything from leggings to jeans to skirts to patent leather to a patent leather skirt like it's it's a staple for me right so now that's out of the way you guys know this one <laughs> I know I bring this out a lot because I feel like this represents my style when it comes to like a white button down because essentially I want to have like a variety of different white button downs ones with pretty embroidery embroidery like this I mean this just represents me I think myself a flower child I know I'm a flower child and so this just represents me and then it has the little tie detail in the back it's just so feminine so cute this one the um, sleeves kind of fall instead of being too structured they fall on the shoulder and this white is more like a bright white and it doesn't have that like warm tone so it's more like a pure white tone so I love this and then it also has the details at the bottom here I just love this and it's such a versatile top and it has a little bit of you know pizzazz essentially I'd love to have something with also like pearls and maybe diamantes and just different details in my white button downs now something a little bit more uh, I was about to say ethereal but my camera died on me this is a piece that is completely inspired by nature I want to say it, it's a fall wrap dress it's very soft because of the sheerness of the fabric and how it ruffles and leaves it's very feminine very girly it gives me a lady of the manor vibes princess sweetheart I love this dress it's a wrap dress I feel like every woman should have at least one wrap dress in her closet in her unique style. I rock this up as well with some boots or keep it playful with sandals and a big smile. This is more like a little boss baby kind of look. Now this is something that I would more likely wear to a meeting or something like that. Like I said, I love black and white together. This is giving me powerful boss babe vibe. It's saying that I tried, but I'm not trying too hard. This is effortless. I'm that girl. Let me tell you, this shirt is giving me Amreezy vibe. I love Amra. I don't know if you guys know Amreezy on Instagram. I love her style. And I I love her style because it's very distinctive to her and just the way she wears things, the way that she dresses, the way that she does her makeup, the way that she carries her Instagram page. I love everything about it. It's personally not my style and some of the stuff that she wears is personally not what I would wear, but her attitude, the style that she does things with, it's very, it's 
inspirational and it's very much so like the vibe that I try to bring in my fashion, in my personal style, especially with this top. This is the vibe that I was going for. I don't know if Amra would actually wear this, but it's more of that feeling, that like very empowered woman, that very sharp cut, clean, mm, 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 kind of like vibe. I also like to bring those kinds of elements in my style. If you know, you know, you know? Okay, so I brought out some denim, not because I specifically like short denim, but like a solid, like light wash denim, especially one that is not too baggy on you, not too tight, just like maybe like a boyfriend cut type of denim is one that I always have in my closet, just not now because I cannot fit in my other denim that I had in my closet that was just my everyday denim. I wore it everywhere. I'll probably insert a photo of it somewhere here so you guys know like the kind of denim. Okay, one thing that also inspires my style and I want you guys to think about this too because movies also inspire my style and characters in movies. Specifically, I like on a very laid back day to dress very much so like it's preppy. It's like that off-duty writer style. One of my favorite movies is Half Light with Demi Moore. I'm very much inspired by her style and um, her style in that movie inspires my off-duty artist slash writer slash musician slash YouTuber vibe. You know, you catch me at the library in that kind of a style because I like that very like peered back style as well. As much as I like structure, I also have a side of me that likes to be under the radar and a little bit more peered back and um, I feel like everybody has like that kind of sense in their personality and when you have that kind of sensation like how do you dress when you feel that way you know what I mean and you need to have something in your wardrobe that represents you but still gives that vibe if you know what I mean you know what I mean so yeah I brought this one out this is like a capri pant and I brought this out because I also like textures when it comes to my fashion I like a little bit of structure I like skin tone colors that will camouflage me somewhere <laughs> This actually makes me feel kind of like a boss babe. I like to feel empowered in whatever I'm wearing. I like to feel sexy. I like to feel sensual. I like to feel comfortable. I like to feel like I can bend over and dip and do a little dirty wine and my clothes is still on me. So I like to feel empowered in my clothes and I like to feel comfortable and I like to feel like I'm in charge of my life. Whatever I'm wearing and whatever energy I'm trying to portray with whatever it is that I'm wearing, I like to to embody that and to feel comfortable in that energy of whatever it is that I'm trying to portray. You guys get it. Okay, I brought this suit set out because I also like color. Color is very important to me. Bright colors sometimes. I, I just grabbed the first bright thing in my closet. I have quite a few very bright outfits that I wear, but I like color. I like the color yellow specifically. I think I feel like it complements my complexion very well. It makes me feel beautiful. I attribute the color yellow to being one from the star, the sun that nurtures and nourishes us and nourishes the plants and give us vitamin D. I attribute the color yellow to light and bright. So it makes me feel really good. And I also attribute it to my solar plexus. So it makes me feel really good when I see the color yellow. It makes me feel good when I wear the color yellow. I love the color yellow and I love myself a blazer. And I love myself a blazer set a blazer suit if I can find this look Madonna did a look where she was accepting an award or she was giving a speech of some sort and she wore this suit I don't know if it was a Gucci suit or if it was a Versace suit I feel like the way that she wore that suit and what the suit just what it looked like and just what everything represented for, for her in that moment is basically my style I would say or at least an element of my style so I'm gonna go through these a little bit quicker and then the last piece that I brought out is a blazer I feel like every woman should have at least three blazers in her closet a blazer is essential a blazer makes me feel very powerful 
This can be worn casually to a meeting. It can be worn business class. A blazer always makes me feel put together. I always feel complete when my outfits have a blazer in them. Blazers makes me feel like a boss babe. Okay, so moving on to shoes. I brought out three shoes just because I didn't want to like bring too much. The first shoes that I'm going to go over why I like these shoes. These shoes just make me feel very powerful. These shoes are very inexpensive, but I've, I've had them for a couple of years. These just, when I saw these shoes, I thought of the Matrix, I thought of Neo, I thought of Trinity. I thought of Trinity and how powerful of a character she is and how she fought and I thought, damn, and I thought of Morpheus and I thought these shoes just gives me Matrix vibes and I really want to bring that over into my style because that's one of my favorite movies and I needed to get these boots. Look at the heels. I just love the style of the heel. It was a very inexpensive shoes. I think the shoes was probably between $30 and $60. I don't remember, but I love these shoes. They make me feel powerful. The theme seems like it's just powerful, but I do create ethereal, very pretty, very feminine, very sexy looks as well. <laughs> I didn't bring out any of my little black dresses, but um, I just wanted you guys to bring out some of your favorite pieces and really review them to see like what they reflect. And I wanted to do this exercise with you so that you know how to do the exercise so that you can really owning and define your style. So that's why I got these shoes. I wear them very regularly, especially now that it is winter time and it gets a little chilly in LA. I love these shoes and I would get them in a different color if I could, okay? The next shoes that I brought out is just some sandals. These are from Ego. They're just like brown sandals. These are very practical everyday shoes for me. These can be worn to a meeting. These shoes are also like good shoes for like that off duty look. You can pair these with jeans and a white button down and maybe a blazer over the top and you're good to go. I feel empowered in these shoes because they're a little heavy and if I dare kick somebody in the shin, they're done for, okay? So like I feel confident walking a little bit later when it's dark in these shoes because you will get kicked by these shoes and you will know not to play. So <laughs> that's the first exercise and I really wanted to have you guys review the items that you have on your rack or you, that you've taken out of your closet and I want you guys to really put words and feelings to why it is that you like these items. What about them make you feel good? I want you to talk about what you want to reflect with those things and how it makes you feel okay like I said putting words and feelings to items is a very powerful tool in understanding your style and what you stand for and what you desire or or what you want to curate your style to be now let's move to the next section of this video Understanding and owning in on your personal style does not mean that you don't follow trends. You can follow trends that you actually like. You can follow trends that you can actually relate to, that you can actually bring into your style. And oftentimes, you don't have to follow the wholeness of the trend. You can bring that trend into your nails or your accessories or maybe a painting or something, a style element in your apartment or your bedding. You don't have to follow trends in the same way that people follow certain trends because I remember when the whole beige trend was going on and I'm somebody who definitely loves color and I definitely love pink but I found that it was very relaxing it was very chill I liked some of the designs I like some of the monochromatic looks and what I did was I started my reading nook and it basically was beige and it was somewhere that I went to relax and unwind and I did not want too much color there so that I could actually focus on my reading and it was not too much distraction so you can bring different like trends whether that be design trends fashion trends accessories trend makeup trends into your style in your own unique way it doesn't have to be the whole the fullness of the trend if all of it does not call out to you you know if you're not feeling the entirety of the trend you can take out 
aspects of that trend and bring it into your style. Another tip that I wanted to give to you guys is definitely lifestyle. When you are defining and owning in on your style, you have to be realistic with yourself. Like what is your lifestyle? What do you spend most of your time doing? Do you spend most of your time outdoors? Are you a fitness instructor, for example? Like why would you have 50 blazers and only five sets of gym outfits that you wear over and over and over again? You know what I mean? You have to ensure that if you're a fitness instructor, as an example, most of your wardrobe should be at least fitness inspired clothing items because that's your job. That's what you're going to be spending most of your time doing. So you want to have a variety and different styles in that same like athleisure, athletic wear that reflects different aspect of your style, if you know what I mean. And that's just an example of how you have to bring your lifestyle into your wardrobe and into your personal style because at the end of the day, your lifestyle is basically how you're moving through the world, how you're spending your time, like your location, your occupation, like what is it that you're doing? You want to consider those things when you are creating, building, and owning in on your style and just be realistic with yourself about it. Okay, another thing that I wanted to bring into consideration is organization. My closet is organized by color. It's organized by type. I try to keep an organized space when it comes to my wardrobe so that it's easy for me to see what I have. It's easy for me to choose colors. It's easy for me to put outfits together because when we have a disorganized wardrobe space, even when we have a million outfits that we could put together in there, we cannot see that because it's a very disorganized space which just brings forth anxiety and chaos whenever we open our closets. So I would say organize your clothing, organize your shoes, organize your handbags, organize your accessories, organize your things so that you can see them clearly and you have a system in which you organize your things, a system that works for you, whether that be all jeans or whether that be by clothing item, whether that be by color, whether that be by type. You want to organize your closet space, organize what you have right now and see what it is. I personally feel like organizing by color is like the most effective because you see what you have and when you want to put together an outfit, it's easy for you to say, you know what, today I want to wear this color and all your colors are there, you can pick and choose. I find that it's easier to organize your wardrobe by color, that's just my opinion. You do what works for you, that's just one of the tips that I have. I also wanted to get into accessories, hair, nails, makeup, that is also a part of your style and you can really go wild and crazy with these style elements and these are elements that you can also, you could be a little bit more trendy with your hair, your nails, your makeup without, I mean of course you want to maintain your own personal unique touch of whatever it is that you're doing but sometimes, sometimes we can, sometimes we definitely can take on a whole trend. For example, right now my nails is, I have my notebook just to, I just have my notebook here so that I ensure that I get all of my thoughts out to you guys. But right now, you know, the Hailey Bieber inspired nail trend has been like raving the internet. I love it. I think it's very simple. I'm like into like a very simple stage in my style right now because it's the winter time. I feel like the pearl nails reflect winter because of its cool tone. I love it. It's simple. It's like everyday nails. You can wear these nails with like every kind of outfit. You can dress it up with like a little black dress to go out for dinner and you can wear it with an outfit like this. It's just simple and it's a trend that I adapted into my own personal style. Most of the girls that are wearing this, they're wearing like stiletto nails or they're wearing more longer nails. I'm wearing my nails short this season or at the moment and this trend still works for me and my style and where I'm personally at in my style journey. So, you know, some things you can take on, some things are just you know so that's one thing and you can go wild with your accessories and your makeup or you can pair it back you know sometimes you have to decide what it is that suits me and just go from there on out okay so i also wanted to say that style is ever evolving and as humans we're always evolving so our style is going to continue to evolve and grow so you don't necessarily have to stick to any particular one thing but you want to know what the 
the base layer of your style is, what the basis of your style is, what is the history of your style, the influence of your style. You want to understand the core beliefs of your style so that you can build from there. In that sense, style is not stagnant. It's always evolving. It's always moving. It's always going to be shifting and shaping and transforming into different, beautiful, magnificent things. So have fun with it. Be free with it. Just let it flow because it will evolve as you do. So don't feel like you have to keep the same style forever, especially when you feel like you want to change something. You can always bring different things into your style. So I have another tip before we go into the next segment. I just wanted to say that what is the feeling or essence do you want to evoke with your style that's something that you really want to think about and when you have the answers when you go shopping and you're looking for pieces you want to find those pieces that evoke that same thing that you want to evoke within your fashion and how you want to feel and the essence of what you want to portray if you are very unclear of what your personal style is I would say to don't get too caught up in naming it you know you have these like cottage core or preppy this or whatever it is don't get too caught up in naming your style before you establish what your style is okay don't get too caught up in it just try to find the core essence that you're trying to portray the core feeling what are you trying to evoke what are you trying to say what's the message that you're trying to say try to find your core beliefs and you have to go back to the start of the video when I shared with you in essence my first memory of style and what influenced my style and what evoked my style from my very first memory of style my last tip is buy stuff that feel good and don't be afraid to buy pieces that you I know a lot of people talk about oh buy pieces that are like essentially you that you're going to wear every day you want to have your base pieces but you want to have that dress that you pull out at least two or three times a year or that piece that you are gonna wear on your birthday you want to have those pieces that are not everyday looks that you can pull out even when you're not feeling so great you can pull out those pieces and put them on and feel good about yourself your personal style and your personal style pieces don't always have to be like everyday pieces like don't be afraid to have pieces in your closet that fit you well that you can wear that you love that don't have to be worn on an everyday basis you know what I mean so now we're gonna go over to my desk and I'm going to show you guys how I use Pinterest to curate my style and how I just have fun with it and own in on my style, how I get inspired and how I use Pinterest to pull inspiration to curate my style and how I use Pinterest to help define and curate my personal style. Okay, let's go. Here I am on my Pinterest page. I'm going to go through how I structure my Pinterest page to help inspire my style and how I use Pinterest as a way to kind of curate my style and to find things and pieces and style elements that I like to bring into all aspects of my style from my fashion to my hair to makeup to nails to jewelry to home decor bedding etc. So here I am on my Pinterest page. This is my Pinterest page. Go ahead and follow me. I am at beauty in all places on Pinterest. I would really appreciate it. And so we're going to go down. Now I just have some saves that I've saved, but we're going to go down to all of my, my actual boards, right? So as you can see, I have different boards for different things things some of my boards are private and closed some of my boards are actually also very like old but i want to go into one of my boards that's called street style because it's a more like everyday like style that i kind of pull from and i want to go in and just talk about the kind of things that i pin and how you can use pinterest and how i use it as well so here we're in my street style board and i pin a lot of things 
things that I would wear casually. I pin outfits. I also pin single items. And I find that oftentimes I don't copy the whole outfit altogether, but I will find elements of parts of outfits and I will try to bring that in or try to find things that already exist in my personal closet to pull together an outfit that is inspired by something that I see on Pinterest instead of like always going out to buy new things all the time. Almost everything on this board I would actually wear just at different times in different places. As you can tell from the board, there's a lot of flared pants, lots of like structured kind of tailored pants, lots of silklets, lots of white button downs, Doc Martens, silk skirt, things that I already wear in my own personal closet, blazers. I like this outfit, a little leather moment. You guys know that I like to bring different textures into my closet. I do have a white boot that I could wear with a light color jeans. I do have a light color jeans in my closet. I don't have a brown leather jacket, but I do have a short kind of shirt like that. And I have similar, close enough to be similar earrings like this. So I could definitely recreate this outfit with something that I already have existing in my closet. I'm just gonna scroll through a few more. Like even this outfit, I could recreate this outfit as well with the exception of the bag. But my Neo boots could replace these ones. I have some wide leg trousers or jeans that I could wear. And I do have a long sleeve shirt that I could recreate this outfit. And I almost have the same glasses here. So I pin a lot of outfits in this that are like everyday kind of wear. It's very, you can, you can tell what I'm inspired by and what are the kind of things that I like to wear and how I like to the kind of fits and cuts of clothing that I like to wear and you can tell like I said I've been inspired by this cow print lately and I have that in a hat I have it in a top I have it in a bag I try to bring in different maybe not the whole like wearing a whole cow print dress which I I do have a whole cow print dress to be honest I do like something that's more like soft and flowy like that. I do, I don't have a top like that, but I do have a pants of the same style, the same kind of sleeves that's kind of like soft and like ethereal. And from this board, you basically see what my style is. You can tell that I do love a flared pants. I do love a structured pants. I do like that strong, like tailored look as well as some soft style elements as well. And if you go to another board, it would reflect something completely different because I feel like every moment in your style journey and every event, everything that you have to do is going to call for something else. So let's go back to my page. I don't know how to navigate the desktop version of Pinterest without going back to my main page, but let's go back to all of my seats. Now, if you've been watching my, my channel for a while, you know that I, I live alone in my apartment and and I'm just going to go over like different style elements, how you can use Pinterest as an inspiration to like curate your personal style. And I've lit, okay, so this is my, this is my board for my apartment. I don't know why there's, there's this pin here. This needs to be in my nail art section. So let's just put that where it's supposed to be. That's supposed to be nail art. We're gonna save that. And so now I'm in my apartment board, which if you look at this, you can tell that I'm very funky, very cool, very kind of eclectic. I like pretty things. There's a lot of pinks. I, I do sometimes shop from my actual board. Sometimes I'm just so sorry that I can't shop everything on my board, but there are things that I actually have or elements of things that I have in my actual home. I recently like the cow print. I did not bring it into my bedding, but I did bring the cow print into my bathroom as my shower curtain. I am yet to buy some art pieces, but as you can see, I've saved quite a few cow print inspired, black and white inspired kind of things because I've been loving that. I love plants and I wanted to bring a little bit of wood. As you can tell from my back, you see that there's a lot of like wood pieces in my apartment and I'd like to bring some more wooden pieces in my apartment, which is why I save some wooden stands or wooden plants 
on stands. I'm really inspired by natural elements. I love pretty girly feminine things and I love holding, touching. I love pink. I just love pink. So there's a lot of cute things that I use to like inspire my whole apartment vibe and it's like a vibe. It's, it's just a vibe that I'm curating here in this apartment kind of board so that whenever I'm ready, whenever I've budgeted some money monthly to invest in my apartment, I can always go back to Pinterest and figure out what is it that I want to buy. I've actually bought an art piece from a photo that I saw on Pinterest, which is linked in one of my videos that I've posted previously. I use Pinterest as inspiration. I have many boards. I don't get so specific that I can't have fun and I don't get so specific that, you know, there's no room for change or movement. Let's go into something more fashion-y. Okay, let's go into this one that I call fashion. In this board, I have, so I'm an artist and I do believe that you should have a few pieces, if you can, of like something aspirational that you want to hold on to in your closet. Like as an artist, and that is a singer, songwriter, actress, I love to have very unique pieces. And as an artist, I have my own distinctive style, even as an artist separate from my everyday life. So in this board, I have more things that I would wear on the red carpet or in a photo shoot or just things that I'm inspired, like high fashion things that I'm inspired by that when I break through as a musician and as an actress and as an artist, I would totally like wear these kind of things in my photo shoots on the red carpet, just like, and you can, you can tell like it's, these are all different pieces, but they they all kind of like look the same. It's that kind of like ethereal, very feminine, soft, sometimes very strong. There's a lot of corsets because I do love a corset. I love structure when it comes to like high fashion and I do love a little bit of softness. So I use boards to pin different aspects and different elements of my style from everyday to more things that I would wear on like a red carpet to just like you know to specific events like I have a board for just my active wear like look I have a board for eyewear I have a board for dresses I have a board for jewelry I have a board for so many different things I even have a board for maxi dresses but let's get into like more aesthetic things let's get into the jewelry board as you can see here I've really been loving pearl everything lately I've just been saving a lot of like pearl essence things I love really sweet pretty jewelry that's unique and look like one of a kind I absolutely positively love those kinds of things jewelry that's very feminine and classy you guys can tell what my style is when it comes to jewelry based on my board so I don't particularly put boards together specifically for specific outfits I put boards together with specific categories of things and items that I want to look at check out implement into my fashion so that it's more organized and I can pull different elements because sometimes I just need an inspiration or I need something that is that's more like an accessory like a piece of jewelry maybe I want a piece of jewelry to wear with an outfit or a dress to like a gala and knowing that I have one place to just look at jewelry to see like what is going to go with that outfit I can just go into this board and look around and see oh I like that and I can go ahead and order it or find something similar on Etsy that's like a little bit more expensive that's how I personally use Pinterest 
Pinterest. I don't use Pinterest in how I see some of the girls using Pinterest when they're doing their style. I use it very differently. Let's go into another board. Let's go into hair for a moment because I do have a board that's specifically for hair and I have one for nails. Let's go into the one for hair. Some of it's hair accessories, some of it's hair style, some of it's hair ornaments. The hair is such a very important style element. I try to keep my pins organized and I try to pin very distinctive and very separate because what I know is that I may just need like a hair inspiration which will possibly catapult into like oh if I do my hair like this then I it will look good with this color or this thing and then I can create an outfit or take different style elements from different boards and different things that I'm inspired by you know what I mean so as you can see I just have like a variety of different hairstyles I'm even in here that's me that's me that's me that's me that's me that's me and that's me that's me that's me that's me and my different hairstyles that I've had that's me as well over here and then I have some other pins that I pin for hair inspiration I love this updo this is like an event updo I love her hair it's also an event updo I love some bantu knots I've actually done this hairstyle before sometimes I just go in here to get hair inspiration to figure out what am I going to do with my hair next what's gonna look good what am I trying to portray do I want to look a little bit stronger do I want to look a little bit softer so I do have different boards for different things because I like to compartmentalize my style so that I know when I go on Pinterest to gather inspiration I specifically know that if I go to my page if I need hair inspiration it's there if I need shoes inspiration it's there I even have a board specifically for my shoes I'm very very specific about my style and my pins and how I organize my pins because like I said organization is key when you are curating and building your style you want to know where you are what you have and the things that you want to then bring into your style now we're going to go over to like let's go over to some more fashion -y thing I do have a board that I call 2021 or 2022 I do have a board like that I'm looking for it so that we can go through it a little bit and just talk about how you can actually curate different boards to represent different aspects of your style so that you stay clear on what you are inspired by and different elements of your style and your different tastes because I'm sure your style is multi-dimensional and it's not just like this one thing you know what I mean so let's look at a different board that I curated for a specific element of my personal style oh I think this is the board 2021 vision board okay so on this board similar things very pretty very bright colors very like ethereal lots of pretty makeup I really loved this dress that Dua Lipa wore I love the ocean I attribute myself to be a mermaid so I, I I love this dress I think oh my gosh if I could wear that dress I would be like the happiest girl in the world I love that dress and there are other dresses that I pinned that look like this this dress has the same kind of vibe except this dress is with flowers but the same exact type of vibe very inspired by nature I love bringing nature into my wardrobe I'm very much in love with this dress i think oh my gosh you guys know how much i love yellow i would totally wear this dress at the drop of a dime if somebody could make it for me please yes 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 this is more of my artist like aspirational wardrobe you know like what i would wear on the red carpet what i would wear to the event what i would wear at a photo shoot this i would wear to a picnic i think this is such a beautiful dress oh my gosh with the bow ties just running down I would have even belted this dress or with something I don't know but you don't want to belt the dress when it has such a beautiful design at the front but I love this dress I love this kind of style how it's kind of just very cultural I love that element of 
that so I like to bring in more styles like that and I love the style of painting that it is um so this oh this is the other dress that I was talking about like I love these Versace dresses oh my gosh they're so pretty so you see what I mean each board kind of has like a different aspect of my style these are like more like high fashion -y dresses that I would definitely wear at the drop of a dime when I'm able to because fashion is also aspirational you have to aspire before you you get pieces it's not okay to not aspire because even when you see something online and you want it you're aspiring to get it and you oftentimes get it so save that Versace dress even if it's thousands of dollars and your bank account does not reflect that now still aspire for that because fashion is also aspirational and I know aspirational also means something else but you have to aspire to have these pieces so that that you can have them you know so I, I do take a lot of influences from the 50s like I told you guys I love the 50s I love the pinup girl look that very clean cleavage and bodice and you know I love that kind of look and like I said I do take a lot of influences from places I love the pyramids and Egypt and I want to somehow bring that into my fashion as well I do have some some random pins here oh these pins were pins of baths these pins need to go somewhere else but let's go into accessories for a moment I'm showing you guys you don't have to pin specific outfits you can categorize the things that you like on Pinterest and go back to those categories when you need inspiration in that particular category you know what I mean so I also have bags and accessories I haven't posted much bags in this board recently so it's very probably just old pins that I've had but if you look at all the bags that I've actually pinned, it's kind of like the same vibe, the same aesthetic. And if I had a closet, you would see these bags in my closet because it's kind of like the same type of bag. I do love a more smaller bag. Let's move on to a board that is something different let's look at the nail art board because i feel like sometimes we forget about like the different elements of our outfit which is our makeup and our nails and our hair you know i like to get inspirations from pinterest when it comes to my nails i've recreated lots of pinterest like nail art designs on my nails i love nails i love to have good nails i've actually been working on my nails this last like couple of months working on the length and the strength of my nails i really love nails and I feel like nail care, nail art is a really good way to bring in and own in on your style and to like express your style. So here you guys can see that I've been pinning lots of like the Hailey Bieber inspired nails because I've been loving those and I've been looking at different style elements of that, different versions of that kind of nail. I also like these kind of like marble effect nails, the ones over here. I do like a plain colored like pearlescent bejeweled nail like that. I do like different designs. I do like a neutral. This was very pretty in my opinion. I really liked that. So I use Pinterest in a way that it's easy for me to go and find things because I have very much specific boards for specific things. Things so that when I go to the space I can easily find what I want which is why I say organize 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 so I am NOT going to carry on with this video I hope this video was helpful for you to understand start creating and owning in on your own personal style I hope the tips were helpful I hope what I was trying to translate was related to you guys I really want us to not stop following trends but not leave with trends and not having corporations kind of manipulate us into trends that are very short-lived and when we buy all these pieces we end up like selling them or they live in our closets untouched and then removed to be 
trashed or to be donated or to be handed down when they are no longer relevant. When you own it on your own personal style, you have pieces in your closet that you love that are timeless, that sometimes aren't timeless to everyone, but are timeless to you and you feel confident when you wear them and you own it because that is your unique style. You know, that's your unique personality being reflected through your fashion sense, through your clothes, through your makeup, through your nail art, through your shoes and your apartment design, through your interior design. Like when you really own in on your style, people really get to know who you are and what you represent. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I really wanted to give you guys some tips and tools on how to build and create and own in on your personal style. I hope it was helpful. I hope I made some some sense because it is currently 2.59 almost 3 so if, if my energy was here there and everywhere it's only because I'm just a little bit tired so owning on your style and be confident about what you love and what you like and what you wear and without further ado thanks for watching the video have a wonderful style lived life and bye bye bye